So alongside ArtJuice Online, we have ArtJuice Enterprise. So ArtJuice Enterprise, in many ways, is very similar to ArtJuice Online. It has many of the same capabilities and same functions. It's a place to store your named users, store data, and it can be the basis for your desktops and apps to connect to for their sources of information. But unlike ArtJuice Online, ArtJuice Enterprise is something which is managed and maintained by yourselves, either in a managed service by a third party, on, in the private cloud, such as Amazon or um, Azure, or on your own um, hardware. In many ways, it is used alongside ArtJuice Online because it gives the sort of fine-grained control over the data sets and the upgrade cycle. And ArtJuice Online might be used for more of a public-facing, scalable, elastic scalable um, view to scale when users are going to hit your uh, web service or your application to extents which would not be the normal level. So Enterprise complements ArtJuice Online in many ways. There are a number of new and improved components within ArtJuice Enterprise that gets regular updates. And many of the features you see in ArtJuice on Online come into ArtJuice Enterprise in a, a shortly subsequent update. <clears throat> One of the new features I want to highlight in terms of an extension for ArtJuice Enterprise is the video server capability. This is the ability to bring in georeferenced video and to use that as a, another data source alongside your traditional GIS layers and to extract information from it. So please do check that out. Not looking at a functional capability, but a non-functional aspect of ArcGIS Enterprise is its ability to run on Kubernetes. So Kubernetes, for some organizations where ArcGIS Enterprise is mission critical and is a large scale application, is an option to run that in a containerized model on Kubernetes. It's not something for every organization and really demands that you have the need in terms of scale, but also some of those in-house skills for Kubernetes. There are a number of New Zealand organizations who are already using Kubernetes and ArcGIS Enterprise for production systems. If you want to learn more about that, please come and chat to us about it. One thing to bear in mind is that some of the more specialist capabilities of ArcGIS Enterprise are now available on that Kubernetes backbone. Alongside on the Windows and Linux operating systems, Kubernetes is that third option. A question we used to get asked a lot by our customers was, how can we translate this GIS world into terms which our IT team can understand? Especially when it comes to ArcGIS Enterprise, it's a sophisticated enterprise application, but sometimes the terminology that we use in terms of feature layers and so on are not considered, they're considered geo gobbledygook by people who don't come from a GIS background. The well architected framework is a new document, a set of documents from Esri to help document all of the aspects of ArcGIS Enterprise in terms specifically designed to be consumed by IT professionals. It's a rapidly evolving uh, document which covers all aspects of it from security and scalability through to the, the individual uh, deployment options. It's available online at architecture.artgs.com and we'd recommend that all of you who do have any questions around ArcGIS in terms of the architecture aspects, reference this. We're very keen on feedback on this, both from yourselves and from your IT counterparts. And please do let us know if you have any questions that are not answered in this. So it's a new resource recently released. Please do check it out. But we think it's an important aspect and maybe well overdue in terms of helping document how ArcGIS can be used for people who are not GIS folks themselves. <clears throat>